Welcome to this Midday Eucharist, today live streamed from the Bishop's Oratory in Ipswich. I am Jutta Brook and Bishop Martin is with me in the congregation. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Wherever you are joining us today, God is present with us. And so we take a moment to be aware of this, settle into God's presence as we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we come together to celebrate the mystery of God's love, we take a moment of quiet reflection and call to mind those times when we struggle to love, when we find it hard to trust in God's love, and when we live out of our own strength. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. We have lived by the light of our own eyes, sometimes faithless and not believing. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And today is a rogation day, so the collect for Rogation Day. Let us pray. Almighty God, Lord of heaven and earth, we beseech you to pour forth your blessing upon this land and to give us a fruitful season that we constantly receiving your bounty may evermore give thanks unto you in your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, beginning at verse 11. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshipper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. 
when she and her household were baptised, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to our God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory Glory to to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You are also to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, O Christ. Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to his name. We'll keep a minute of silence to reflect on the readings we will have just heard and then we will continue with our intercessions. Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us give thanks for God's goodness. Risen Christ, as you are promising to send your Spirit, our Advocate and Comforter upon your church, we pray for your church at this time. And we pray equip all those whom you have called to follow Christ, to testify to his presence and love, for the healing and reconciliation in your world. And today, as Jesus predicted that there would be times when Christians are persecuted for their faith, we pray for brothers and sisters across the world 
for whom to follow Christ is costly and dangerous. And we pray that the Lord would protect them and sustain them and give them his peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. On this Regation Day, we pray for our farmers and all who are working on the land and the sea, working for to produce food and the goods that we need to sustain our daily living. With our farmers, we pray for rain. We pray for labourers and for all those who are living in these challenging times with economic viability under threat. Lord, we ask that you keep them free from anxiety and that you would provide. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for people across the world affected by COVID-19. And these days, especially for those in parts of the developing world, where the virus is potentially going to create huge suffering, we pray for those in refugee camps, particularly for the Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh and also for parts of Africa where the virus is on the rise. Pray for governments to act with compassion and wisdom. Pray for aid agencies being there to help and for those in parts of the world who could afford to share, to be generous in their giving. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving God, we bring you before you all those who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. And in a moment of silence, we hold before you those people who have asked for our prayers. Lord, surround them with your healing and comforting presence. Grant them the care and support they need and the knowledge of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And merciful God, we pray for all those who have died. Those whose lives have suddenly been cut short. Those who have died in recent days. And those who are mourning their loss. May all those who have died rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. And in a moment of silence, we bring before God our own very personal prayers and thanksgivings this day. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Alleluia, alleluia. And also with you. Alleluia, alleluia.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. In your loving care you spread before us the table of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of our Saviour and our Shepherd, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the saviour of the world. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Lamb of God, you take take away away the sin of the world, have have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The prayer for spiritual communion. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the Eucharist today. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and all you carry on your hearts today and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Be in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.